You know, sometimes you don't have to say anything to make a difference, you know? And sometimes, why the fuck should you have to make a difference? <laughs> I'm just so tired of people saying, why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Why the fuck do you assume that I'm so fucking angry? You don't fucking know me. How about this? Maybe one day without adventure is the day I die. And I would rather live a single day doing crazy ass shit than to die at the end of the night and having done absolutely nothing, you know? Like, why do you assume that you know me? Like, why the fuck do you think I know you? Why do you assume that you know me, you motherfuckers? Like, seriously. Ugh, worst day ever. <clears throat> anyway, whatever, look. It's not. Fuck that shit, whatever. Like, you know what, motherfuckers? If my roommate's not gonna respect me, then why the fuck should I respect you? You know, like, seriously. Um, <laughs> I try to pretend I'm like that, but literally, man. anybody I've ever been friends with, anyone I've ever dated, especially, like, I would lie down on train tracks just to see you smile, and I really do mean that. And if you've ever known me, if you've ever gone out with me, why the fuck do you think I try to be so hard all the time? What the fuck is this shit? God damn it. Ah! Now, this shit is dangerous, you know? This shit is dangerous. But seriously though, like, um... Sometimes I think the most powerful moments are the ones where you say absolutely nothing. You know? Lo que quiero decir es que lo cierro todo. Like, oh shit. Oh shit. The motherfucker that <clears throat> this running open mic just texted me. Anyway, <clears throat> I can't stand small talk. I can't stand a motherfucker that just says shit just to fill the time. I can't stand job interviews. You know, you take me to a job interview. Here's a job interview. <laughs> so tell me, just tell me about the last experience. You ain't go fuck yourself. How about you experience this? Experience uh, my titties in your face. You know, like ugh, this bra is all messed up. And I look really fat right now, but you know what? Maybe I'm a little bit fat because my ass is bigger. Maybe a lot of motherfuckers out there like that shit, okay? <sighs> Whatever. I don't do very well with time off, okay? So, I met a girl the other night, last night, specifically. I had been working 18 hours. She's a dancer, and she lives in L.A. She's a video editor. She works for Technicolor, and she works in L.A and Dallas and oh, I feel like I don't want to get in trouble so I don't want to name the movies that she that she named that she was working on that she edits for but fuck I'll put it this way when you go to the box office like a year like they're Hollywood movies in other words okay so fuck it right like anyway what's the point of this rant? I don't know I don't know how about this maybe um even when you don't understand me I don't give a fuck how about that you know like Shit, it's painful enough to realize that every single day I wake up and I'm like, why the fuck am I still here? Why the fuck am I still here? You know, and what's even more painful than that is the realization that my laptop is in there, my car is busted, and the laptop charger is inside of that. But what's the worst, the worst part of all is realizing that out of all of these variables, why do I have any right to complain? I have a laptop. You motherfuckers, like, do I deserve to complain? No, I don't. Not at all. There's people that have no running water in other countries. There's people that have no homes. It's like, why do I have a fucking right to complain? I don't. I don't! And it makes it that much more that I cry every single day. Like, what's worse than crying than realizing you have no right to cry?